These bugs are also known as noceums, punkies, five O's, and moose flies, but they all belong to the same family of insects. They get these common names from their biting behavior. The name noceum comes from their tiny stature. The largest noceums top the charts at two-tenths of an inch. To put their size into perspective, smaller noceums are approximately the same length as a credit card is wide. When they bite a human, they're often so small they can't be seen. The name 5O comes from their 5 p.m. appearance, as they're most active during twilight hours. Currently, there are over 4,000 classified biting midge species. These flies live globally, with the exceptions of Antarctica and some oceanic islands. They prefer tropical and subtropical environments, and they live as low as sea level or as high as mountains. The adults gravitate to swamps, streams, coastlines, and other aquatic environments. The larvae live in moist soils, decaying vegetation, or maybe fully aquatic. Not all biting midges bite people. Just like mosquitoes, only female noceums need to consume blood in order to provide nutrition for their eggs. Males and females can be told apart from one another by looking at their antennae. Males have fuzzy antennae, while females are smooth. Both males and females consume sugars in the form of nectar from flowers. This is beneficial to people, as the bugs help pollinate plants such as cacao and rubber trees. Females only bite when they need proteins to produce a clutch of eggs. A biting midge's life cycle begins as an egg. A female noceum will provide for her eggs by drinking the blood or protein-rich fluids of other animals. These can include humans, other mammals, reptiles, birds, and other insects like katydids. They bite via teeth-like projections on their proboscis. Their saliva prevents blood from clotting, which results in a small blood droplet from which the female feeds. The whole process can take up to five minutes. In humans, their bite forms an itchy welt, and they can also transmit nematodes to uninfected individuals. In livestock, biting midges transmit blue tongue disease, which can cause fever and lead to death. Of course, that's not their goal in biting. Really, they're just trying to provide for their young. Biting midges undergo complete metamorphosis. A female may lay anywhere from 25 to 450 eggs per clutch, and can lay up to seven clutches over the course of her life. These eggs are deposited either in water or on moist surfaces. Larvae hatch anywhere from two to ten days later. Biting midge larvae eat algae, plant material, nematodes, and other insect larvae. Depending on the size of the meal, the larvae may eat their meals whole, or burrow in and eat the insides. Larvae born towards the end of the season overwinter to hatch later the following year in spring or summer. These live longer than those born at the beginning of the season. Overall, the larva stage may last anywhere from two weeks to almost a year depending on the species and location. And the midges will go through four instars, or molts, before reaching the pupal stage. The pupal stage is short, lasting two to three days. After this, a biting midge will enter the adult stage, which lasts a few weeks. During this time, they'll eat, breed, and perish shortly after. If they can avoid predators, that is. Biting midges are consumed by fish and other aquatic predators. A big thanks to this channel's number one fan, my dad, for today's request. For more facts on biting midges, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpiegel93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.